Today's Wednesday, July 8th, Thursday? July 6th. Our window just gets dirtier and dirtier. southbound and whatnot, but they can't because of the people, but whatever. You just add humans plus cars and that's okay. People enjoy that. No, they really don't. But they do because look around. Everyone is in a fucking car. Driving around, it's like 90 something degrees. People hopefully have an AC on. And if they don't, well, Sucks to be them, unfortunately. These vehicles have been built with air conditioners for a very long time. It's unfortunate, though, that we all have separate individual air conditioners and rides, and we all drive different vehicles, varying in sizes and shapes, all individually, so we all gotta fucking deal with everyone else. Which is great fun, right? Oh, this should be good. So there's two bike cops over there somewhere. They just got hidden, but you got all this space accumulating. And people sticking out in the intersection and green lights turning so you could go on the freeway if you want, but no, no one really does any of that shit. Still got people hanging out in the intersection, no problem. Everyone kind of judging, do I want to get out in the intersection with those bike cops over there? I don't know. Is it smart? Probably not smart. But people are gonna do it anyway. Are the bike cops gonna do anything about it? Probably not. They're just gonna go straight on their way. But, you know, whatever, no one got hurt. Less paperwork to fill out. Just let the congestion be and go on your way. two people going left right there. Not that you can fit more than two cars in that turn lane. And then you got a nice little backup going on to the freeway. And that direct right turn just doesn't 
boggles the shit out of me how the hell they designed that or why they designed that like that. And then you got all these people who want to get off on El Toro but choose not to because they don't want to get stuck on the freeway. Which is kind of a dangerous situation. Oh, look at that traffic. It's creeping up. Northbound isn't too bad. They're going about as fast as we would be going if our speed limit was 45 or so and not a red light in front of us, but man, shit. Southbound is just. It's like capacity. You tell me you're going to fit more people on the freeways and like every day is going to be better if we're going to keep selling more cars. We're going to get people out of the cars into some kind of mass transit. Train, cool things, save energy, create jobs, enjoy life, go places, less hassle. I mean, fuck a toll road. I think a toll road's gonna make you be able to get anywhere any better without. Oh wait, you gotta have a car. Yeah, see, not very efficient. Now if they, you know, had that whole tollway thing and then they put like some kind of back and forth subway thing, that'd be kind of cool, you know, you get from point A to point B if you're pedestrian, no problem, go to another transit route, buses, trains, cut all the way through the fucking mountain, no problem, but no, everyone's basically designated to have to go around the mountain on the freeway, should they choose not to, it's ridiculous. for the most efficient way to get somewhere, but that would cost everyone else. I have no idea if the microphone can be working good with this shit. Anyway, so we're yeah, we're um, you know driving I pick up my friend saw uh, cool guy guest on the video podcast of daily driving and stuff. I figured it was about time for a guest. Because, you know, what's the good of the podcast without guests? Besides, he lives right next to the dog park, which is cool. And he gets to, you know, live with all these speed bumps. See you one. hit and stop. At least it's a four-way. But it's got to speed up in the middle. Six. 